Today we're making a super magnet railgun linear accelerator. Interested? Here we go. This is what you'll need for this build. Three small paint stirrers. Two 3 8 inch by 36 inch long wooden dowels. 10 to 15 half inch steel ball bearings. 40 10 millimeter super magnets. I will post links to the super magnets in the ball bearings below. A handful of rubber bands. This just happens to be in a ball. Your favorite brand of wood glue and some electrical tape or tape of any kind. It's helpful to have a run out. This is actually Hot Wheels track that we're using in this case. Flat container to catch the balls so they don't go everywhere and you lose them. The flat edge is very helpful. Lays down right on there like that. For this science experiment, we're using track marked off at one foot intervals so we can figure out what the speed is of the ball. When you build the magnetic station, it's four magnets in a row like this and then just taped off. So that's a four unit and then we start in each station at six magnets. Lay down a thick line of glue down the center of the paint stirrer. Spread it smooth. Put the dowels here. Straighten it out. Clamps are also helpful. And there you have your track. Once you've glued up your rail, use tape. You want to make sure that this is a tight fit on the sides. You don't need a lot of glue. If you use a tight bonnet or Gorilla Glue, it's going to set up in about an hour. The more time you give it, the better it is. Just need to make sure that those tracks are straight. And this actually helps it lay flat. That's why I use the paint stirrers. We have rubber bands, just three wraps to keep this thing from moving around. We noticed that when we first started doing the test, as we had the ball bearings, as they shot from one to the next, they actually moved a little bit. Let's see if we can capture the motion here. You saw a little movement there. Other options for changing things up is you can go from the standard six magnet station to a 10 magnet station. You can change the distances. This is currently around four inches. You can alternate them, you can space them up, you can take the rubber bands off, you can put rubber bands on one and on rubber bands not on one. Just a whole bunch of different combinations to see how fast you could make this thing. How much you're probably asking, fair question. For one, two, three, four, five stations, that's 30 super magnets. I just checked online, it's around $9, and then these ball bearings are just checked online, they're around $7. So that's about $16 worth of hardware and then throw in another dollar or so for the dowels. And you've got basically an $18 setup. Like all my builds, I try to make things reasonable and inexpensive. You can break this down and use these super magnets and these ball bearings for a whole bunch of different projects after you've had enough of the railgun. Another detail I wanted to show you is these four units, they're wrapped around to make a 12 millimeter diameter. The reason why is because you want the ball bearing to hit the center of the magnet. I was looking for half inch super magnets and either they were cost prohibitive or I just couldn't find them. So thickening up by using the electrical tape to expand the diameter of the super magnet allows it to match up perfectly with the half inch ball bearing. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Thanks for watching.